What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. The final, final little pass is a business. Dead Meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, an extension of the YouTube channel Dead Meat. I'm James. I'm Chelsea, and we're boyfriend and girlfriend, and we like to get scared together. Mm-hmm. So we're wrapping up March right now, and we want to do a March Madness episode, because that's what everyone does during March. Yeah. It basically, I feel like the month of March gifts us the, it's like a free episode space, you know, on the yeah. bingo card. Just do a bracket. Exactly. So we're doing a bracket, and I was trying to think of what I wanted to do for the bracket and I was coming up with all kinds of kind of weird ideas for how we can have the like what competition are we having but then I just decided you know what let's let's just have some characters fight each other yeah, <laughs> and, fuck see, it. and see who comes out on top so we each have a bracket of 32 horror characters mm-hmm. tried to go a little more well known I think I forget what uh, I think it was our Mary fuck get killed by there were a lot of characters where people were like i i don't know who this is so going a little less obscure for this one yeah some returning favorites from either the podcast or stuff you've recently covered they're gonna be fighting yeah yeah. okay so so let's imagine yeah it's a ancient rome arena like you know coliseum style fight to the death between these two characters what do they have at their disposal anything we've seen them use in movies i think so i would say their signature methods of murder so if they use a weapon like a chainsaw you gotta get like if like, i think leatherface is in here you gotta give him his chainsaw uh, yeah, or else what's course, the point then it's no fun mm-hmm. then it's just kind of weird they're just kind of going at each other with their bare fists i mean that's kind of fun too but uh anyone who has magic powers they still have magic powers and of course yeah. uh can they use helpers if that is a if if helpers are an integral part of that character Got i it. say yes good 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 yeah because i right off the bat we're gonna have that case uh oh yes you're correct and also what do we do chelsea my love if we just can't decide and agree if we come into a tie and can't convince the other of our champion what do we do to break that tie i'm think. do we just flip a coin let's just fucking flip a coin i just we can grab a coin quarters over there okay i'll go grab a coin yeah and i'll vamp okay Uh, thanks hello my baby hello my darling hello my march madness bring out the horror monsters make them all kill each other all right perfect here's a quarter all right, let's do March Madness, which I I was going to make the graphics for this, and I almost made the banner a football field. Oh, God. This is a uh, basketball sport thing. It is a basketball sport thing. Can we call it Murder March Madness, though? Or just mur- Murder Ma- Yeah, okay, mar- Murder March <laughs> Madness. Got it. Yeah. Nailed it. Yeah, that's good. Round one. Herbert West versus Victor Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. Two doctors. Nice. Two uh, uh, men of science. Mad science. By the way, I know there's like seeding and shit in March Madness. I don't really care. Chelsea didn't I do just that. put, it's I just. an integral part of putting together a bracket. But, but how do you like, seed horror characters? Yeah, it would have taken a while to yeah, no, figure no, no, out a way. No, no. no, man. So I just kind of put together matches that I thought would be kind of cool right off the bat. So here we go. We got our two scientists. Okay. Does Herbert West have his army of the reanimated dead helping him out? Everyone who comes up, all those naked people at the end of that first movie. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, I would say yes if Victor Frankenstein also has Fritz and the monster, the creature. And the bride. Yeah, okay. The bride too. Okay. Well, the monster's pretty strong. He is. But he's also kind of a sweetheart. Yeah. But he, I mean, he's not um, scared easily except by fire. Mm, but Herbert West is probably going to know he's that. He's going to know that. Yeah. I think Herbert West is going to utilize the the fire aspect to kind of scare off the doc, or the, the monster. I, I might, I think I'm going to have to just, yeah, give Herbert West kind of an edge on this one because he's going to fight dirty, whereas Victor Frankenstein, as much as he is an imperfect man, I don't know if he 
He I don't know. He's breaking rules all the time, stealing brains and Oh, that's true. Yeah, he's he doesn't have scruples. He's an unscrupulous man. But he his thing is is he genuinely thinks he's doing it for the good of human like this is for man's betterment. I mean, mm-hmm. well, I guess he thinks that, but really it's an egotistic drive yeah. to to feel the power of God. But Herbert <laughs> West is a bit more I, I don't know. I think he's less of a, a a good character. Like he's less ambiguous than Victor Frankenstein. I would I if I had to look at the two of these dudes and pick who I'm more afraid of, I'm more afraid of Herbert West. That's fair. Yeah. Herbert West will stab you in the back of it. Gave him a uh, extra data point. Mhm. You know? He can bring back a whole morgue full of people. Yeah, pretty easily too. Victor, it's a whole process. That's true. I'm thinking of this now from an RTS kind of uh standpoint a real-time strategy game mm-hmm. where like if you send troops out and they oh, get destroyed you and have to you make have them so again. many turns to generate resources and stuff well that's turn-based but oh, uh, okay. still like just re like re-upping your own troops mm-hmm. herbert west is going to be able to do that a lot faster than victor has to fucking pull the the pulley and get the hope there's a thunderstorm hope, yeah his his yeah. reanimation style is dependent on weather i think we gotta give it to herbert west i'll then. give it to herbert All west right. okay Herbert West. Got it. Next matchup, we've got two witches. Mm-hmm. We've got the Blair Witch and Bathsheba, who is from The Conjuring. Now, Bathsheba hangs out on top of dressers. Yeah. And what what she really do? She kind of gets in your head and gets you to kill your kids. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's her whole gimmick, I guess, if she were a wrestler. <laughs> <laughs> she gets her opponent to kill their children. Lock up your loved ones unless you want to kill them. Yeah. So we've got Bathsheba. And then other than that, I don't know if she... Because no one, no one dies in The Conjuring. That's the thing. Blair Witch everybody's dying in that movie. Yeah, those three kids are fucking Gonzo. Gunzo. Yeah. Go- not Gonzo. It's kind of Gonzo. Gonzo. Yeah, it is kind of Gonzo. <laughs> well, you know, I'm, are both of these characters location bound? Are they... Uh, I just Blair realized, Witch, I'm pretty can sure they even come compete in our death match? Because Blair Witch for sure is tied to that like square mile of Massachusetts or wherever. Yeah, that forest, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Maybe if you um, take that building that she's in at the end of that first movie, which doesn't exist anymore that in real sucks. life. They tore it down. That was a real... I really would love to visit yeah. at night and scare the shit out of myself. Ugh, no. It'd be so It'd fucking be too scary. scary. It'd be too scary. Okay, so yeah, let's say we bring her Yeah, we, d- we lift that house and, and we, we also bring... In. Bathsheba's like tree or whatever from yeah. the backyard. What? A, yeah, her thing. I don't know. I I I'm leaning towards Blair Witch because Blair Witch can control um space time. Also. Oh, that's true. She <laughs> she can make you get all lost. And yeah. Shit. Hmm. I think her magic is a bit more powerful. Like she has more depth to what her abilities are than Bathsheba does. Bathsheba can't even kill the cast of her own movie. Yeah, she got stopped by fucking Patrick Wilson. Yeah, reading the Bible at her. That's true. I don't Blair know if Witch you, has a, a I, yeah. I don't more know if, success rate. I wonder if if there is a way to defeat the Blair Witch. I'm I guess there is in those sequels. Maybe they explain. I haven't seen Book of Shadows in so long. I don't need to see Book. Of, I'm I'm curious, but let's go with Blair Witch. Blair Witch. The Blair Witch. I just think it's so cool that she is one of the only. She's a well known character. The Blair Witch is such a thing in pop mm. culture, but no one knows what she looks like. We don't. I forget see her. if in the second one maybe you see her. Oh no! I don't know. And then there was that other one that I haven't even seen at all. That other Blair Witch. That like, that just came out, kind of right. Twenty sixteen, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, this is this next one is in my top matchups that I invented because I this is one I would love to actually see. Billy and Stu from Scream. Versus Leprechaun. Yeah. Warwick Davis's Leprechaun. Little shit Leprechaun. This is it's this is a great match, and I now I'm regretting putting both of them like in this first tier because now we have to see one of them go. Mm-hmm. I thought it'd be fair to let Billy and Stu be a team because Definitely, they're yeah. both ghost face. They're borderline lovers. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. Yeah. So they both have their ghost face costumes. Mm-hmm. They both have 
a knife. A knife and a phone. phone. They can use a phone. They can, yeah. They can dial into the intercom of the stadium. Oh. And talk over the speakers. Okay. Which I don't know how much of an advantage that gives them, I don't but know how much I just an like yeah, the idea for, of it. Against Leprechaun. Leprechaun is a tough kill. He's a real tough kill. He's really tough. Because what? You have to... He has some defined weaknesses. He has iron. Iron, four-leaf clovers. Four-leaf clovers. Uh, the medallion that you can put around his neck to turn him to stone. I know he freaks out if you take away his uh, um, um, his owl, the, the the thing. It's like a shoe. Oh, yeah, yeah, the shoe thing. Or just, it's uh, the thing that makes holes in fabric. Yeah, he wasn't too happy when Bridget... I don't know if that, that did anything or if it, that was just the thing he likes. I think it was just part of his treasure okay. and he didn't like it going. But that's the thing is I think his powers get weaker if you take his gold. Does he ever, because all those movies are such a blur now. I got you. Don't worry. Does he ultimately die? Is he defeated or is it a ending where, oh, he might still be alive? Well, the thing is <laughs> there there is a running uh, prominent theory that each movie's leprechaun is a separate being. Oh, <laughs> because yeah, sometimes he dies, and then the next movie will start, and it'll just it's like a cartoon ignore where it's just, what happened. It's like uh, uh, I always think of Metalocalypse. There's other cartoons that do that, or Super Jail, where everyone dies, but then the next episode, no one even talks about it. And we're all alive. Basically, so, yeah. Um, I think I might just have to give it to Leprechaun. <laughs> Leprechaun's a tough one to beat. He's yeah. got a lot of magical power, especially because Billy and Stu rely so much on their their victims not knowing who they are mm -hmm. whereas now we know they've been outed and they're in a stadium where they can't really <laughs> hide or switch places or anything it's just the two it's just two teenagers they're also clumsy as fuck they are yeah and maybe it's just Stu who's clumsy as fuck but you put him in that garage with uh with uh Tatum, mm -hmm. and he is just falling all over the goddamn place. Yeah, I'm going to give it to Leprechaun. I'm giving it to Leppy Boy. Okay. Nasty fucker. Okay. Next one. This is to... I, I loved making these little couplets, because I think these all make sense so far. Sure, yeah. <laughs> these are two dignified men of horror, two I think very stately gentlemen. We've got the tall man from Phantasm and Jigsaw from Saw. Yes. yes. So Jigsaw. Jigsaw the man. Yes. Jigsaw. But he can use Billy. Yeah. He probably has Amanda and Hoffman running around and whatever the fuck his name is yeah, from Jigsaw. I, I say give him his army of pig face people because tall man's <laughs> going to have his dwarves running around. He's going to have his dwarves? He's going to have his like uh, uh, morgue people, like the guy who gets hit oh with, gosh. and he's going to have the sentinel balls. Yeah, those are going to be flying around everywhere. Yeah. What if they don't even end up fighting each other and they just sit down and they, they chat about <laughs> life and the universe together? Because that's what I could see happening. I feel like these two would get along great, honestly. Tall man is tough to defeat. They cut off his finger. He has that like yellow blood that comes out. I mean... I don't even remember because they do. They don't really do. They defeat Tall Man in the last Dude, one. Dude, I don't know. Those I don't remember. Movies are such a fucking fever They're dream. They're so crazy. They're so I think insane. Tall Man might be practically invincible. He's what in another? He's from another he's dimension. A, he's, yeah, he is a otherworldly being. Yeah, he he's beyond our concept of space time. So, but I don't want to, we need to give him some weaknesses here because okay, we, we can't just have him dominate the competition and win because he exists outside of our concepts <laughs> of, of time and reality. And because that makes him pretty tough competition. That's, that's pretty that's tough. Fun. Uh, I don't know. In the first one, they kind of put their hands on the tuning fork things and that kind of fucks some shit up. I mean, they throw rocks on top of him and trap him in a mine, an old mine. Isn't they it? they trap him. Oh, maybe is Jigsaw, Jigsaw can gonna... just trap him, not yeah. necessarily kill him. Oh man, what if before this competition, Jigsaw kidnapped um um? Why can't I remember the main character's name? Jody. Jody. No, Jody's the brother. Jody is the brother. Why can't I remember? Mike is it Mike? Yeah. What if he kidnapped Mike and used him as bait for the tall man, and then got tall man in a saw trap and was like tall man you've spent millennia pursuing this little boy for some reason 
and you've spent so long chasing him he is now an old man yeah on screen he's and like, it's kind of weird he's to see. like 40 something what are you doing <laughs> god that last movie is fucking weird to watch it man is, yeah. you watch those phantasm movies and you are literally watching people grow old and but then die i love like they're crazy movies and they're impossible to follow but the the shot of like the the original because it's all the original cast that whole time except the second movie it's a different mic it's really weird but uh or jody that last shot or uh, no, mike, yeah, it's mike yeah. yeah that last shot of all of them driving in the car and it's all the it's the the gang oh, is all here and insane, it's dude. i don't know it got me like after marathon big all recommend those and, although i would like during their their back and forth cat and mouse for maybe Hoffman to get a fucking sentinel ball to the forehead because mm-hmm. that'd be cool to see. But let's give it to Jigsaw. Let's yeah, fucking that switch feels it so up, man. Wrong. It does feel wrong. Feel free to yell at us in our comments. And you know what? He'll also employ Reggie Bannister to help him. Oh my god. Yeah. Wow, Reggie would be a great assistant for Jigsaw. <laughs> Reggie is the most dependable man. Until there's a hot Until there's around. some boobs around. Yeah, yeah that's true. And then he's going to chase after those. Yeah. Doesn't matter how young they are. Yeah. Well, I mean, it does matter how young. It doesn't matter the age the difference. Age, yeah, yeah, the age. Yeah, they yeah, have yeah. to be adult women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's not that much of a creep. Yeah. Next up, we've got two 70s icons. Okay, I was wondering what your reasoning was here. And two... Um, extremely sexy horror characters i see this is the i mean come on <laughs> we've got jack torrance of the shining and frankenfurter of rocky horror picture show hmm. Hmm, hmm. i know that's tough they both kill people with an axe yes they which both is go nuts a lot of axe. fun because then they're running around just chasing each other with axes and stuff and yeah. that's that's a good time we're definitely going to see an axe fight here i think jack torrance would get very distracted by frankenfurter's entire getup. because to me jack torrance the character is the type of man who would not be able to handle the idea of someone looking like frankenfurter does mm. and you know i think that that gender fuckery would really mess with jack torrance's head i don't know because there's are are there any indications of jack's attitudes towards anything like that i mean he's an asshole to his wife i know that's not the same but i just huh you know i think just from the 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 glimpses you get of the way jack torrance treats his family and the way he talks about women like his wife is the old sperm bank (laughs) uh i don't know i just I think it'd be fair to assume he's not randomly also really progressive. Okay. <laughs> uh, but. But. Frankenfurter is bested in the end. And he, he comes off pretty weak by the end of that movie. Yeah. You know? He yeah. gets taken out by an American Gothic looking uh, pair of aliens mm-hmm. who just shoot him with a pitchfork gun. And yeah. That's kind of the end of him. I wonder, does he have Rocky... Rocky kind of stayed loyal to him towards the end, till the end. He's like, he's carrying his body. Yeah, he's Arr. holding him like King Kong. Yeah. Like so he him. has Rocky he's to got help Rocky. him against Jack. Jack. Man. Yeah, this is tough. They both are bested in the end. Because the problem is, if they're not fighting at the Overlook, Jack's, Jack's out of a have lot a hard... of power yeah. and a lot of allies. He's going to have a hard time. But I would say, like, let's, for the sake of this, just, w- what allies are you? The spirits of the Overlook. The <laughs> Lloyd. <laughs> Lloyd. Uh, uh, Gray something, I think. What if <laughs> Frankenfurter would just end up seducing Lloyd and then... <laughs> 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 Frankenfurter would just seduce all of his potential, all of uh, uh, Jack's potential allies. And he might just seduce Jack. I don't know. I might give it to Frank. I think so, too. He took out Meatloaf. Jack, that's true. Jack snuck up behind an old man and killed him. Yeah. Frank chased down a rock star on a motorcycle and, and killed him. Yeah, fair point. Edge to Frank. Mm-hmm. Next up. Oh, your favorite? Is this the battle of your faves? I. It's funny because I didn't even intentionally do it at first, and I realized what I had done, and I thought, well, I can't change it. It's yeah, too good, but it's sucks. also heartbreaking. We've got Candyman. Versus Freddy Krueger. Yeah. I think I originally I put them together because they both are supernatural mm-hmm. and they 
don't have human rules applied to them. Yeah. They're, they're tough to kill. He, immediately, I'm thinking about how Candyman doesn't need to sleep. Yeah, exactly. He's not a du- He's not human. Mm-hmm. He's a spirit. Mm-hmm. He's a, a vengeful spirit. I do like how they both have sharp objects in, for hands. Yeah. I don't know. This is tough. Yeah. I mean... Well, okay. You, we got to imagine a scenario where they can physically confront each other, I think. Yeah. Because- We can't have it be like, okay, Candyman doesn't sleep, therefore- He wins. He wins. Yeah, no, no. This is, they are they are in the same space fighting each other. Maybe Freddy kidnaps Virginia Madsen mm-hmm. and lures Candyman to him. Mm-hmm. Uh, because Candyman's obsessed with her. He is. He wants to live, be be with her forever, be immortal together. Mm-hmm. But what if, also instead, what if uh, Freddy Krueger just turns into a bunch of little Freddy Krueger bees and attacks Candyman? Oh, fuck, he would do that. Yeah. Oh, fuck, he would do that. <laughs> hey, Candyman, be my victim. Oh, my God. I might have to give it to Freddy Krueger just for that scenario. It's pretty good. Damn, what, a bunch of little Freddy Vs? Yeah. Candyman has a has like the physical edge. Oh my god. If if we took away their powers, Candyman would wail on Freddy Krueger. Because Robert star England and just... is my size or smaller. Yeah. I think he might be f- I think he's my size. Uh huh. Which is a solid five ten average build. We all saw that picture of me next to Tony Todd. Yeah. Tony Todd's 6'4". He's like, he's a big dude. He's got half a foot on me, man. Yeah. Uh, and much more stocky. Yeah. So, yeah, physically, Candyman, I think, would have it. But Freddy's got some crazy powers, man. He could even, like, become his fucking hook. Who knows? Yeah. I mean... I think I just have to give it to Freddy. Do you want to give it to Freddy? I don't know. It just, it feels right to me. I I don't want to have Freddy be out so early either. It's Freddy Krueger. You know what? Here, I'll give you a reason Freddy can win. Okay. Is because he could deny Candyman from ever even showing up because to bring Candyman in, you have to, say you have to look in front. You have to look into a bathroom mirror and say his name five times. We have a case in Dream Warriors, one of the best nightmare movies, where Patricia Arquette looks in the mirror and her faucets grab her and slit her wrists. It's when her mom comes in and thinks mm-hmm. that she's trying to kill herself. Freddy could prevent anyone from ever getting to the fifth name. By becoming those faucet hands and grabbing them and like slitting their wrists. To be fair, that isn't the rules for our competition. Whatever. We're assuming they both show up, but I feel like this is good. Uh, <laughs> it's good. I'll take it. I'm just trying to rationalize your feelings. <laughs> I just think I have this idea in my head of like, I I think if you just asked me to instinctually say who would be easier to defeat I'm saying Candyman's easier to defeat I than Freddy Krueger. I think that's true. Yeah. Although, man, Candyman really fucks with you with the whole like making people think that you're the killer and making yeah. people think you're crazy. That's fucked up. That's so scary. That's one of the scariest things yeah. about him to me. Okay, next. Next, we have <laughs> a match that I would kill to see and there's no logic to this other than I think it would be fucking awesome. We have Patrick Bateman, versus Pamela Voorhees. <laughs> the cool, the, the be- like, we're not going to get better than this. This is the matchup for the ages. I'm I'm sorry. There's no way Pamela's walking out of here a lot. No, okay, but here's the thing, though, because oh. I was thinking about this one because I knew when I put it on here, it seems like a very uneven seems matchup. Seems pretty one-sided. He's I th- fucking ripped in that movie. He's very, He's very ripped. He's ripped. He's scary ripped in it. But... Are can anything be as as scary and as strong as a <laughs> mother's motivation to kill for her baby? Yeah, Alice proved that on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think he's throwing a chainsaw and at her head and decapitating her, and her hands are going up and they're man hands. Yeah, because they're not Betsy Palmer. And uh, all I, right, I think that's a real yeah. easy one that you put out. He's putting on his poncho and he's getting to work, baby. Yeah, 
And there's music playing. In yeah, the he's doing his stupid dance. Mm-hmm. All right, all right, Patrick <laughs> Bateman. Sorry, Mama Voorhees. I thought maybe <laughs> she would have a chance, but no, she gets her. She just gets her. She gets chainsawed right down the middle. Oh, you're going for the middle? Yeah. I always love it. I I do too. You I gotta just... see that Evil Dead remake, dude. Oh, I do need to Goriest see that. Goriest chainsaw down the middle I've ever seen in my yeah, life. Yeah, even like more a than a, a, a Terrifier. Because that oh. was nasty. I don't think that was a chain. That was just a, a lumberjack was, saw. That was a hacksaw, I think, mm-hmm. right? Ooh, that's a tough one. That one's nasty. That one's nasty. That one's nasty to the point of not f- being fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, next up, we've got... Oh, God. <laughs> Carrie White versus the Jin from Wishmaster. Yes. No. This is interesting because Carrie White, to me, is, is at once extremely powerful, but at the same time, she's very... I, I think she's so emotional and so insecure that I could see the Jin having a field day with it and it actually being hard to watch. Dude, Jin can take other people's appearances. Yeah. He could become like the the hot guy in school. Oh no. And trick her. He would ask her to prom. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know though, but then on the flip side Carrie White's got scary ass telekinetic power. She destroyed a whole town. She burns down the whole town. But counterpoint the jinn burned down the whole fucking like egyptian dynasty or whatever the fuck was in the beginning of that oh, first that, the movie persia Have, yeah well, yeah persia he my destroyed bad destroyed persia just because the uh the dude wanted to party yeah he the, like the best party i might have to give this one to the jinn just because carrie white has such obvious wants and she she so genuinely wants and wishes for those things that i think he could very easily manipulate that. Yeah, they can both manipulate a room full of objects to great murderous effect, but I think he has the emotional edge. Yeah, I think so too. Okay. All right. All right. So the gin. That is uh oh, oh boy, that makes that makes for a very good matchup later that <laughs> I am excited about. So that's the left side. Yep. Now we're on to the right side. This is another toughie. Jason versus Pinhead. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, so, Jason, I'm assuming it's zombie Jason. Yeah, assume that this is Jason we all know and love. He's immortal for reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So it's six. He's tough to kill. Six onward, Jason. Yeah. Not two, three, four. Pinhead's got chains. He's He's, got a gang of Cenobites. He also is immortal. Like, he is a being from a hell dimension. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. I, you know, I've only seen recently the first Hellraiser. I don't know the extent to Pinhead's powers. I don't either. Can he create, you know, things that you see that aren't real? Can he put you in situations that are... I have no idea. Because I'm thinking of that hospital scene where Christy, like, goes into the wall. And when she first sees that weird looking hanging down thing that chases her... Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know. I feel like he could kind of trap Jason. Yeah, and here's the thing. The key to, at least in that first movie, defeating Pinhead and the other Cenobites is solving a puzzle. And oh. poor sweet Jason is not a smart boy. No, sweet Jason doesn't have time to go through. And I don't think he's going to be able to do the lament configuration and, and undo the puzzle. He's not going to figure think that, that out. That might have to, I think that might be my big determining factor here. Yeah, and also in the beginning of Jason X, we see Jason being restricted by chains. Uh, and he's only able to get out of it because a stupid guard who looks exactly like Leo Camacho approaches him, and that's how he gets out. Oh, Pinhead would put him in those chains, all, and he would just... He's got chains everywhere. He's got so many chains. All right, Pinhead then. Sorry, This Jason. might be controversial for some. Yeah, well, I would like to have them explain to me how Jason can solve a puzzle. Hey, real quick, want to talk about our sponsor this week, Devil May Cry 5. Yeah. You're excited. Yeah, we had to re-record this ad because I got so excited I swore the first time we did it. did a big swear. A big swear over Devil May Cry 5 (laughs) because I had so much fun playing. I, I will tell you this. I had never played a Devil May Cry game in my life. Until uh, I I played one during a Twitch stream earlier this week. And holy crap, I had so much fun. Now listen, the Devil May Cry franchise. 
as I learned, has a ridiculous and complicated lore. But you know what? All I did the night before was watch a 20-minute video recapping those first four games, cluing me in on what was happening with Dante and, and his whole family and everything that they're fighting with the demons, and it was so much fun. This you were able great. to jump into this new game even though... Yes, you can jump into Devil May Cry 5 without having played any of the other ones. That's what I did. Yeah. And I don't even think you need to do as much research as I did. I just wanted to be able to speak with authority about what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the controls are intuitive, and uh, what's great is that it can be very simple, but then also you just learn all the combos, and you can make it more complicated as much as you want. It's got... The graphics are beautiful. The voice acting's great. Mm -hmm. And it's like a fun, funny game. It's a game that, like, you know, it's Demon Hunters, and you look at some of the characters, and you're like, maybe this is going to not be my thing. It might take itself too seriously. No, it's so much fun. Characters are cracking quips, but it's not corny. It's just, like, a cool, and it's so cinematic, even the opening credits of the game. Yeah, the bit I've seen of it, it looks cool. It got some cool color schemes, mm -hmm. and it just looks really slick, and, yeah, I kind of want to play it. You should check it out, because I, like, and, and this is not me just saying this because they're our sponsor this week. You can ask anyone who's in my Twitch live stream. I had a friggin' blast playing that game, and I'll probably keep playing it on my own. Yeah, he was telling me all about it after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, Chelsea, Chelsea, yeah, definitely yeah. cry five. <laughs> so if you want to check it out, it is now available on Xbox One because games play best on Xbox One. Next, we have Hannibal Lecter versus Michael Myers. Question. Mm hmm. Which Michael? The first movie. Okay. Not Rob Zombie Michael? Nope. Okay. What? Boogeyman. The he, shape. Uh-huh. What What would be, what would make uh, the Rob Zombie one? He's a big, strong, scary fuck. I know, look, like, they're completely different, but, yeah. He, he's stronger, do you think, than the original? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. I mean, I guess he's more human. Uh, yeah, because I still, I mean, the original Michael, he's not as bulky but he's still pretty strong he's lifting dudes up and stabbing them on the wall and i mean we're talking there. about first movie michael i don't know he never he's scary but well i guess hannibal lecter is not a physically right intimidating yeah they're person. both um physically imposing. they're both quietly terrifying hmm. but is then, hannibal free or is this like silence of no he's free okay and so is michael <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I I just you, you know what that's the that cage scene in Silence of the Lambs though. I don't know, man. I think Hannibal kind of he I think he relies on mind games that yes, wouldn't work they on wouldn't Michael. Work on, Cause he also Michael's got a mask on. What is he gonna be able Yeah, I don't think mind games at all work on Michael because they, I don't think we see them working at all on him. Yeah, he would try to general. like talk his way into Michael's head and it wouldn't work. That's not and possible. He might like yeah. try to bite at his cheek, but yeah, he's wearing a mask. You're just biting at latex. Yeah. Damn, that I, made me kind of change my mind a bit. You were going to go with Hannibal? I think so. Just because I think he's so scary and can be so... Um, like he can, he almost turns feral when he's in that cage and he kills those cops and stuff. Yeah. But then, yeah, he relies so, so much on emotional torture that I don't know. I don't think that's going to work. He's on not going to talk Michael into swallowing his own tongue. Yeah. Michael's not going to listen. He's going to do his head tilt and then stab him and probably pin him against the wall. Yeah. All right. All right. All right, Michael. Michael. <laughs> Michael. Next up, we have. This is going to be heartbreaking Why for many of us. It's heartbreaking for me, but I thought it would be a great matchup. A lover's quarrel. A lover's quarrel, if you will. We have Pennywise versus the Babadook. Now, <laughs> it's. I realized I haven't seen the Babadook in so long. I've seen it a bunch recently. You really? I reviewed it for oh, a okay. Patreon, and then I went to review it again, forgetting that I had already reviewed it. So I watched it again. <laughs> I was like, oh, I reviewed okay, this last cool. year. Yeah. <laughs> but, okay, so there, again, we have two supernatural beings mm -hmm. of indeterminate origin. Pennywise is kind of location-bound. 
He is, but for this, let's assume he's not. Okay. Uh, Babadook isn't scary. Oh. It's scary. He's scary. Yeah. But once you understand it, mm-hmm. it's just grief. Right. Because yeah. Baba Duke doesn't kill anyone. No one dies in that movie. Like okay. her husband dies, but that's from an accident. I think this is maybe another instance of the Babadook relies so much on emotional manipulation. You have to have fear and you have to have some sense of loss for the Babadook to even bother fucking with you. Pennywise not gonna have any of that. Yeah. Pennywise doesn't love Pennywise doesn't have any regrets or anything that he's lost. So I think it might I it might just be kind of a landslide win for Pennywise. I think so, dude. He can do a lot. He can like have conjure up images and stuff and Well conversely though, does the Babadook fear? Is the Babadook oh, afraid of anything? Because that's Pennywise kind of... depends on fear. Hmm. So. Damn. Yeah. These are very abstract characters. They are. To it's make difficult fight to pit each them other. against each other. I still, I'm I'm leaning towards Pennywise. Me too. Yeah. Let's just go with okay. P-dubs. Get out of this abstract, weird <laughs> Yeah, I just want to move on from the weird not real things. Yeah. Well, you know what? Pennywise looks real enough for me. Mm. Next up, we have <laughs> Black Phillip versus Leatherface, which would be a very fun match to watch. Damn. Leatherface just chasing around that scary goat. Yeah. <laughs> in like a barnyard. <laughs> <laughs> Black Phillip killed a bunch, uh, killed a family. He killed the whole family. He killed Dagmar Clefjaw. He's also the devil. He's also so the that's devil. A pretty big leg but up. He only takes control over you when you sign your name in his book. Mm-hmm. I don't think Leatherface can sign his name. <laughs> Leatherface doesn't understand how to write. No, I don't think Leatherface oh, can no. sign his name in that book. Oh no! Is this gonna be another <laughs> instance like of like, thing. oh, this poor sweet? Yeah, stupid but in this boy. case, it's working out for Leatherface in Leatherface's favor. I think. Yeah. Because you know he can't. He can't give away his soul because he can't sign his book. Yeah. Uh, but but also if think a bit more literally, mm-hmm. Black Phillip is a big scary ass goat that could just like ram right Leatherface into Leatherface slaughters livestock for a living. Very true. His that's his family. Yep. It's the only you know thing what? they're good You're at right. is slaughtering that's, livestock. Yeah, literally. Yeah, he, yeah. He one is great at slaughtering live animals, and two can't write, so he can't sign his name in the book. <laughs> wow, wow, Black Phillip got. He got his ass Boxed out by Leatherface, man. Leatherface just murdered the <laughs> devil in front of a stadium full of people, and the crowd went nuts. And probably scaring Leatherface with all the noise. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> little sweet baby. Oh, God. Oh, boy. The next one's a toughie. Oh. Uh, <laughs> just looking ahead. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they get um kind of dumb as we get towards the end because I was running out of characters that I wanted to put in here. <laughs> Next up, we have a fight for the ages. No one's surviving this one. This is a fight of monumental proportions. We've got the Cloverfield monster versus the blob. Ooh. How do they kill the blob in the end? I they freeze it. They freeze it? Oh, that's right. But what? What uh uh Del Close has the the little bit of unfrozen blob in a container that he's going to use to cause mm-hmm. the end times. That's right. Fucking yeah. close. Uh, so Cloverfield Monster mm-hmm. is huge, right? Gigantic. Like and enormous. the Cloverfield Monster in the movie Cloverfield is confirmed a baby monster. He's not full size. Holy shit. He's a little baby that is is scared and wants his mom. That's why he's destroying the city. Aw. Yeah. So it's cute, but also, oh my God. So I think it's bigger than the blob. Oh. Because Cloverfield's yeah. fucking up a city. Blob's yeah. in a town. Yeah. But the blob can get big. It grows. Yeah. Yeah. Clo- well, but you just said Cloverfield can grow too. But then if they get to be the same size, if the blob grows big enough. I think... You know, Cloverfield is scary, but I think that it can be taken down 
by traditional just weapons. Nukes. Just nuke it. Right? Yeah. Like a bunch of like jets and tanks could probably take down Cloverfield Monster. Again, it's, it's I don't know because they, I we didn't see that third Cloverfield movie, which I don't even know if that's. I don't think it would have the monster in it. It doesn't deal with any of that so. shit. Uh, that series is kind of bizarre. It is. But man, those first two are good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to assume that it is a physical creature that can be taken down by tr- traditional warfare. It's just difficult. It's it's mm-hmm. got armor and shit, but but and then yeah, the blob we can freeze it. Blob we can freeze it. There's mm. more room for error, killing the blob. The blob you have to make sure you have all of it frozen and kept in a freezer. That's true. Cloverfield, I assume, if you like blow up its head. I'm sure someone will correct us because there's so much Cloverfield lore. I still want to give it to the. I'm blob. gonna yeah. I think the blob. I'm. I'm pleased we have not had to resort to the coin flip. Oh, that's right. That's just sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. This next one, hon. It's good. What? The Chuck- look you gave me? Chucky versus Baby Oopsie Daisy. Yeah. Baby Oopsie Daisy is, of course, from Demonic Toys. That's right. Yeah. And I love Baby Oopsie Daisy very much. Baby Oopsie Daisy cannot even begin to hold a flame <laughs> to Chucky, the I know. killer doll. Yeah, I know. It's going to be kind of a slaughter. I, I mean, I guess Baby Oopsie Daisy, by our own rules, has the rest of his demonic toy friends with him. Yeah. But they're fucking puppets. They're fucking a jack-in-the-box and a grizzly bear. Yeah. I mean, I guess they are being controlled by a demon child. But whereas then Chuck- so is Chucky kind of. No, Chucky's a dude. But he still has to invoke demonic shit to... It's not demonic. Voodoo? Oh, I forgot it was more like straight up voodoo. Yeah. Are they do a down below? Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And he's got Tiffany by his side. She's ride or die, dude. I mean, I think we got to give it to Chucky. Chucky, (laughs) (laughs) Listen, I just thought baby oopsie daisy... even just that name makes me laugh. It's a hilarious name. <laughs> Next up. <laughs> what? This go is ahead. this is a we gotta go out to the woods for this one. This is a mm-hmm. fight in the woods. We got Slenderman versus the bear from Annihilation. I don't know Slenderman's rules and stuff. I don't really either. <laughs> I just kind of have this ambiguous <sighs> idea of what Slenderman is in my head. Mm-hmm. He'd kill like he kills people. He's he kills kids and stuff. Yeah. But also, it'd be kind of fun to watch that bear just kind of grab Slender Man and, like and shake just him shake like him a rag doll. Yeah. Yeah. With those limbs flying all over the place. I think that that's what's going to I think I'm it's going to be a bear. quick yeah. match. Yeah. A little hard to watch. <laughs> Here we go. Last one. Last one. On the right side, we have Damien versus Pazuzu. So, son of the devil. Versus Pazuzu. He's <laughs> a demon. Yeah. Not yeah, the yeah. devil. Yeah. And just to make it more of a a level fight, we'll say Pazuzu and Reagan body. So it's just two kids fighting each other. Okay. It's been a while since I've seen The Omen. Yeah, same. And I, it's not one of my super favorites. Really? Yeah. Why not? I don't know. I think it's just kind of boring. That's how I kind of feel about The Exorcist. No, Dude, The Exorcist is great. It has great parts in it, but there are just parts. It's so long Ooh. and slow. I know. That's probably my hottest It's take. a little kid telling a priest that their mother sucks cocks in and hell. It's the best It's a movie. wonderful moment. And then you have a cop and a priest talking on a track and field thing <laughs> at a high school for uh-huh. 10 minutes about going to the movies. Oh my gosh, you're right. There's a lot of yeah, whatever. It's a, still a good movie. Yeah. Um, Damon's got attack dogs. I remember the dogs oh. tearing people apart in the cemetery. She's not super like physically because she's not killing people. No, she gets like tied to a bed. Yeah, and Damien is having people kill themselves, jumping out of windows and stuff. Mm-hmm. And he's also, again, the devil. The devil making a second appearance, which I don't know if that's fair. It's like he, it's like Black <laughs> Philip got totally destroyed and then he just migrated I over I thought Damien's to... the son of the devil. Oh, that's right. So it's fair. Okay. It's but I, fair. yeah, 
You know what? I think I think like Pazuzu's just like a demon. And hey, by the way, listeners and viewers, I could be totally fucking wrong about this because I don't really know my Catholic lore, even though I was raised in the church. Whatever, man. If I'm wrong, whatever. This is a fucking stupid fun game. But my thinking is this: Pazuzu, demon, mm-hmm. regional manager. D- Damien, son of the devil, CEO's son. That regional manor <laughs> is just the, gonna lay down. Yeah, uh, he's the Shane McMahon of hell. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Damien. Versus, and then like uh, Pazuzu is like Triple H. <laughs> sure, yeah, I'll take it. But then who wins that fight? It's gonna be Triple H <laughs> kicking Shane McMahon's ass. Here comes the devil. Here comes the devil. Here comes the devil. <laughs> devil, devil. Devil, devil. I'm giving it to Damien. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We are advancing to the final semifinal. Quarterfinals. Quarterfinals. This is the sweet six. Nope. Yeah. Yes. Wait. Four. Yep. yep. I can't do math. It is, is it? the sweet 16. Sweet 16. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here we go. It's the Americanized Quinceanera. Sweet 16. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Herbert West versus the Blair Witch. Science versus magic. magic. <laughs> this is a weird fight. It is a weird fight. Because I don't. I don't know what beats Blair Witch. I know. That's going to be a problem. Thing. She needs to have some weakness. Mm-hmm. That's a thing with the Blair Witch project is it's, we, as far as we know, she's all powerful if I wish I had seen Book of Shadows, that might shed some more light on here. Yeah, but I'm just thinking about how she like tra- I, I like these those kids were kind of dumb. Yeah, Herbert West is very smart. He's very smart. He wouldn't get lost in woods. Yeah, and he wouldn't. I don't know if he would fuck with like her sticks, all her stick figures, or her her rock. Or would he though? Would Wouldn't he just for, like, be for so science? curious? And yeah. Oh, man. Maybe he would be too curious about the Blair Witch's stuff. He just keeps touching all her stuff, and then that gets him killed because he's too <sighs> curious for his own good. Maybe. It's hard. It's they... real hard. Blair Witch is throwing me off. Yeah, I'm realizing now putting <laughs> her on here is hard because. We don't know what she looks we like. Don't we don't know what her. she does. She puts kids in corners. Yeah. Well, maybe her strength is that she kills kids. And the the teenagers in that movie, I would qualify as kids. Sure. But also, isn't Herbert West kind of? Because he's in college. No, he's a, a med student. He's a med, med student. Are okay, adults. those are grown ass adults. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I feel like Blair Witch is going to beat Herbert West. I know, but I just want to give it to Herbie to get her out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I know. That's kind of how I feel, too. Let's come. Okay, we got to come up with. We got, yeah, we have to have a scenario we have where to we have... can actually beat her yeah. somehow. Yeah. I don't know. He's He take, he uh, resurrects a bunch of the dead and they go and tear down that house with their dead strength. Yeah. I guess if you destroy all of her. her... Burn down the woods. Yeah. All right. He would. He's ruthless. Yeah. All right, let's give it. Give it to her. <laughs> so we're not saying our league isn't corrupt, okay? <laughs> and we want to make yeah. certain results happen for your entertainment. And if anyone here is going to pay off the judges, it's going to be Doctor Herbert West. Yep. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah. Next up, there there's a small number of listeners who are furious at our lack of logic and consistency I, in this. I do not care. Truly, <laughs> I truly do not fucking care. Next up. Leprechaun versus Jigsaw. This yes. is a good as hell fight. Yep. This is a fun one. Um, man. Oh, lots of uh, lots of like riddles and poems and shit leading up to everything that happens, which is exhausting. They're all t- they're all talking each other's ears off. Yeah. And I'm just wondering who makes the first fuck up, you know? Dude, I know that at some point Lep's gonna ride in on Billy's tricycle. No. Like Jigsaw is going to expect his Billy doll to come out. But it's Leprechaun. But it's Leprechaun. Damn. Man, Lep's got he's got his magic. And I feel well, but you can trap him with iron. 
Oh, jigsaw, jigsaw builds so many traps, and I'm I don't I'm not a builder, but some of those have to have iron in them. The fucking reverse bear trap. He may, if he makes that out of something with iron in it, and then rips that little leprechaun's head right off. Yeah, that's yeah, kind of cool. I think jigsaw. Let's give it to Jigsaw. He's got so much. Like, I can't think of another. It's the iron aspect. That's you know? such a good argument that. But let's say that Amanda dies in this confrontation. Oh, so we don't have her in the next one? Oh, sure. Yeah. Hoffman got killed by the Phantasm Sentinel. <laughs> okay. Amanda, how'd she, how'd she go out? How'd Leprechaun take her out? Because what she care about? She cares about she Jigsaw. She cares about Jigsaw. Uh. Leprechaun was like, oh, you want to be a jigsaw yourself? And then he turned her into a puzzle and then broke up the pieces. That's cool. And yeah. I like it. Cool. Yeah. Next up, another extremely sexy fight <laughs> that I'm into. Frankenfurter versus Freddy Krueger. Yo, this this bottom left is the uh, sexy division. Yes, it is. The yeah. sexy conference. <laughs> the extremely... <laughs> Horny conference. Uh oh. We hey, accidentally oh, made a horny bull. Oh no, we're infringing. We're infringing on horny bull yeah, territory. There's, <laughs> I just heard a lawyer knock on the oh, door. Shit. All right, so we got Frankenfurter versus Freddy Krueger. Yikes. Uh, mm-hmm. Freddy's pretty powerful. Yeah, I think Frank, even though he is an alien, I I still think he's he's human enough and has enough emotional weaknesses and clear wants and desires that Freddy is just gonna mow right over. I I I think it might be just kind of a blowout, you know? Yeah, I think so, dude. Yeah, because Freddy could somehow make a a dream happen where there's all these Rockies everywhere and it's just an absolute Rocky fantasy, but then they all just gang up on Frankenfurter and kill him. Hmm. So yeah, I like I like the idea of Frank having a dream with a whole bunch of Rockies, but then all the Rockies uh They turn into Freddy. They turn into Freddy with the blonde wig on. Freddy with a blonde wig but Rocky's built body yeah. and then they literally tear Frank apart. Oh, because they all want him. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. They just tear him into pieces. Oh man, yeah, that's how it's going to go, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. I mean, it would be weird if Freddy didn't make it this far because yeah. Freddy's so fucking powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Next up, two extremely alpha males. <laughs> Patrick Bateman versus the Jinn. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and say that Patrick Bateman is another character where he clearly wants such a specific life yeah. and specific things and a, a specific lifestyle that the gin is going to have the easiest time. It might even be not fun for the gin. It's too easy. Yeah, Patrick's got too... He's, he wants success in his career. He wants to have the hottest body. Mm-hmm. He wants everything. Oh, you say you want the hottest body. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> and he just lights him on Lava. Fire. He becomes a, a lava man. Yeah. <laughs> Pinhead versus Michael Myers. Yikes. Hmm. This is interesting because Pinhead... A big thing for him is is he relies on people's fear of pain and desire for pleasure. Oh, Michael has Michael neither. doesn't have feelings <laughs> in general. That's true. I don't know if Pinhead is going to be super effective on Michael Myers. Because hmm. does Michael feel pain? He must. He does, I guess doesn't really react but it's not to gonna it. be fun for yeah that's not fun for pinhead if you got fucking emotionless yeah michael's not gonna say Jesus michael wept. Myers. yeah i know you said halloween one michael myers uh-huh but maybe he's got the cult of the thorn at his side <laughs> what that's what five that's six well five ants then into six yeah but maybe he's got the man in black looking out for him solving that lament configuration Oh, so that we don't have another Jason situation. I think Michael would would be able to solve a puzzle. He's not stupid. He's just very quiet. Huh. I don't think Michael is stupid. That's curious. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What his intelligence level is. He's pretty I think he just doesn't. Fucking Halloween movies. I think he just doesn't talk. Huh. I don't think he's, like, Jason is a big lumbering little mama's boy. Yeah. 
but Michael is a complete mystery. Okay. I just I just think all those things combined. Yeah. The fact that Michael has nothing for Pinhead to go off of. Mm-hmm. I, I think Michael is, is the winner here. Sure, let's go to Mikey. Pennywise versus Leatherface. Oh, Pennywise wins. I'm sorry. I love Leatherface is my sweet baby boy. He would probably be scared. He would be so scared. Yeah. He would be so scared of Pennywise. Leatherface is always cowering. He is. You know, as soon as someone raises their voice at him who's not a like skinny teen girl. He is cowering and doesn't want to get hit. I mean... He just wants to put on his lipstick and apron and... And the way to defeat Pennywise, fast forward 15 seconds if you don't want the book or the next movie <laughs> spoiled, Um, you literally have to go into another dimension pretty much and it is the most abstract... Oh like, God! Leatherface out of can't body way to kill Pennywise. I still don't quite get how it works. <laughs> Leatherface can't do that. He's not going to be able to grasp no. these these concepts. And he's so full of fear. He's going to be delicious. Oh no! Yeah. Okay. Poor Leatherface. The Blob versus Chucky. I think we gotta give it to the blob. I don't know how Chucky makes it out of that. No, one. that doll is getting all melted and and shit in that in that blob. Yeah, and there's no coming back from that. No, that's you're one not of the few rearranging. You're not rebuilding that doll in the factory because this thing's getting disintegrated inside the blob. Yeah, that'll kill the har. Yeah, I don't melt know. That boy down. Yeah, I'm giving it to the blob. Yeah, it's so big. Chucky's so tiny. The Annihilation Bear versus Damien. It's got to be. The, it's the same thing. That bear is just going to pick up this little kid and fling him around in his mouth. That's it. Okay. As long as the son of the devil is bound by the, the rules that's of true. a little kid body, that's it, man. And I feel like, you know, it's easier to corrupt a human soul yeah, with then, devil powers than like a bear, like an animal yeah. spirit. Yeah. I'm giving it a yeah. Yep. Annihilation Bear. All right. We are down. To the quarterfinals. Yes. Didn't I say that last time? I think you did. No, you said semifinals. I don't know. No, what... I didn't say that. But this is the quarterfinals. Okay, it is. The last quarter time Sweet 16, finals. my bad. Okay. Herbert West versus Jigsaw. Two geniuses of science. Science? They are left-brained men. Left brain, right. I know it's not a thing, but you get what I mean. Yeah, they both are good at math. I'm just letting people know it's they're both good at math. It's not a real thing. Not a real thing. (laughs) But they're both good at math. Sure. Yeah, they're good at engineering (laughs) stuff. They both could probably join Mensa. Well, yeah, if they wanted to play games, which Jigsaw might. Do you know it's sixty bucks to take the test for Mensa? Yeah, you pay sixty bucks to do puzzles. Mm -hmm. They have some good puzzles. Well, listen. Jigsaw's an ill man. Yeah. He has cancer. He has to go to doctors. I think that leaves him vulnerable. Oh, shit. Herbert West is going to like, he he's going to look ahead on this bracket. He's going to see that he's facing Jigsaw. He's going to sign up to be Jigsaw's doctor and, and just, then just go like inject him with some oh, shit. Oh, shit. You know? It'd, be, it. it'd be like if, if Zepp or Dr. Gordon were Dr. Herbert West. And then right before Jigsaw dies, Herbert West pulls down the little, the the surgical mask and Jigsaw's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's when Jigsaw That's when he just... swears. That's when he uses the one F word. I, yeah. I All think right. Herbert West will use his, his medical uh, accreditation right. yeah. to defeat Jigsaw while he's getting medical tests done. This next one is extremely tough. I think this is the most intense fight out of the ones we have left because this is a battle of supernatural forces. This yeah. is otherworldly. This battle is beyond, it's, it's beyond our comprehension. Freddy Krueger versus the Jin. Yeah. Yeah. I. This is a battle I think that goes on for days. Oh, I'm, I was thinking aeons just it, yeah like we we can't even c- technically call it because we don't live to see the results <laughs> yeah but if we were able to fast forward to the end yeah uh, boy because freddie's too smart 
to be led into any of the monkey's paw type setups that the djinn gets people with. Conversely, what does the what does Freddy do with the djinn? The djinn doesn't sleep or dream or Jin's got that jewel. Yeah, that um that stone that inside of it is his little palace. It's cheap looking fucking his really shitty real cheap play looking, place looking palace. Filled, yeah. I think there's something to that. I think the idea, I think the one thing that is going to maybe give Freddy the upper hand here is that the djinn is so tied to a specific object, Mm -hmm. that little gem, and I think Freddy could exploit that. And also the djinn, I think, more more, um, explicitly wants power and wants to rule the world, whereas Freddy, I guess he wants to kill the Elm Street kids, but then... He gets that taken care of and is still fucking around. So, I have a thought. Okay. Because this is an arbitrary game, let's say that we're in Dream Warriors rules, and the best way to defeat Freddy is by digging up his bones and uh, what destroying them? Holy water. Holy water. Some yeah, 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 yeah. You think that the Jin, looking like he does, is going to be able to convince? John Saxon to help him go dig up bones. John Saxon's not going to trust that guy. But the gin can make himself look like a a dude. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying is oh. the dude that he makes himself look like. Oh, you still you think John Saxon is not going to I don't know, they're both kind of cool dudes. Yeah. Ooh, he might be able to convince him over a beer. He's pretty persuasive. Yeah. And John Saxon wants to get Freddy. Sure. Oh no. This might be a Oh, this might be an upset, dude. Yeah. Because I I I think yeah, we are working with the Dream Warriors rules. I think Jin could get his hands on the bones and be able to do that whole thing and mm-hmm. get or get someone else to do it for him. Cuz he he I don't think he'd be able to manipulate Freddy, but he'd be able to manipulate other people. To do his bidding. Yeah. I might give it to the gym. I might too. Oh, no. And I hate it. <laughs> oh no. I do we gotta give it to the gym? I think I'm gonna give it to the gym. Right. Because there are various ways to defeat Freddy that involve relying on other people and the gin can yeah, I think convince that's those a other strong, people. Um that's a one people of person. strong skills. Yep. Yeah. Alrighty. Michael Myers versus Pennywise. This is another case where there's not much fear to feast on. Yeah. But also killing Pennywise is no small feat. That's true. Just so that we don't have Pennywise dominate to the end because Mm -hmm. he is just an eldritch horror that you can't defeat pretty much. Let's say that, let's do like the end of the first It movie. Okay. They defeat Pennywise. Like he's they not. Do. They yeah. Stab him in the head. Maybe Michael the just beats the shit out of Pennywise, <laughs> and that's we call it. And that's it. You know. <laughs> uh yeah, I'll, I'll I'll agree to that mostly because I think fear gives Pennywise power. Yeah, and and Michael and Michael is not afraid of anything. Yeah. Right. So I think he's just gonna wail on Pennywise, and that's it. Yeah. Because, like, they defeat him when they stop being afraid of him. Right. Michael's not going to be afraid of him. All right. Yeah. All right. Final match of this round, the blob versus the bear. The bear's not smart. The bear's not going to be able to operate. The bear's not going to be able to freeze the blob. Yeah, like dry ice and the the dry ice truck and stuff. Like, the bear's not going to be able to drive that truck around and shoot cold air at it no i think that bear's getting blobbed yeah although it's funny that the bear comes from the shimmer which kind of operates in the same kind of way could the blob go through the shimmer i don't want to know what that would end up being if the blob went into the shimmer oh my god what would even happen I, i don't know the blob would start like sprouting flowers yeah i don't know i think if anything it would just look like youtube slime you know like instagram slime where people make slime. You've, you've never heard of this phenomenon? No. People make like slime making videos are a thing. Oh. Yeah. I wasn't aware. Yeah. But it'd be like beautiful 
YouTube slime. I think if anything can handle the shimmer, the blob can. I'm worried about everyone else's prospects here. The blob is is a force to be reckoned I with. I think there's one person who can beat him, but can, can he, he win this Yeah, match? that's the thing. So we, okay, so we're down to our last two matches. Nope, last three matches. Sure, semifinals right now. Yeah. Our final four are Dr. Herbert West. Versus the gin. Versus the gin. Here's the thing though. Yeah. Herbert West is like the easiest person for the gin. I know. To gin exploit. keeps running into like these people who they want. They just want the Carrie so White, bad. Patrick Bateman, yeah, Herbert. Now Herbert wants to know the secret to defeating death. Yeah, he would wish for that in an instant. And the gin is like. This is the best thing anyone could have wished for because what kind of horrors is he going to unleash on this poor man who wants to understand death? Right. That's like, you think about the, the when someone wishes for an unforgettable party, the fucked up shit that the djinn decides to give them. Herbert West would wish for all the knowledge in the world. and then His head would just his explode. His head would just explode. Scanner, like scanner style, that's it. Fuck. Yeah, I think we're. I think Herbert West is donezo, dude. Fuck, he was our only hope. I know. I I'm seeing a future that is terrifying, but I don't know how. It, I, I I can't see it being any other way. But we'll we'll see. We'll we'll, we'll do see. our we'll next match. So we've got uh, the Jin. The Wishmaster defeats Doctor West. All right. On the other side is Michael Myers versus the Blob. I, I don't think Michael's just going to try stabbing it and his arm is just going to get like he's not going to he's not going to try and, and figure out what will logically stop the blob. He no. doesn't care about science. He doesn't care about he's just going to try and We've stab established the blob. He has no fear. Yeah. So he's not. He's yeah. Just going to go up to it and stab mm -hmm. it and his hands going to. Oh. Yep. That's it. The blob. Fuck. And that leaves us with the final match the, the gin, gin versus the blob this one is really weird it's super fucking weird dude but here's you know what and i hate to make it this simple you got so the blob is a blob and doesn't have doesn't thoughts have or wishes. wishes or wants yeah there's nothing the djinn can do meanwhile the djinn lives inside of a little gem that the blob can just like blob onto and dissolve you're right i think that's it dude i don't i i cannot think of any other way that that match winds up i think the blob just just envelops the gin and then the stadium and then the world and that's it like the blob just takes over the world yeah yeah if Herbert had been it, like I, Herbert could I have think done Herbert, it. I think Herbert was our only hope for I defeating the blob. But strong fucking, for Herbert. the fucking gin had to go and ruin it. Wow, the blob is our winner. Yeah. Uh, with the note that we pretty much just took Blair Witch out on a bribe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would love to hear what other people think. We did not even stick to our own rules nope. for this <laughs> we're just goofing around this is we're a goof goofing around, around episode because we so yeah because next week we'll have a movie and then i'm already researching for our trans representation episodes so that's what i'm like actually <laughs> working on right now and this was just kind of a goof around <laughs> for the end of march yeah but here here do me a favor in these comments okay when you comment i want to hear your thoughts on these matches so comment with like which match you want to comment on. Mm -hmm. Like, be like, hey, for Freddy versus the Jin, here are my thoughts. Because, mm -hmm. like, that'll be interesting to me, and I'll be eager to read those comments instead of just, like, a general, like, my opinion on the whole thing. If you have a s thoughts about, like, strong opinions on a specific match, let me know. Let us know about which match it is and what your thoughts are. Yeah. You know, don't just be like, Patrick Bateman should have won the whole thing. Tell me like... Yeah, why? Tell yeah, us yeah. why. I would love to hear your version of this reality we've created. Mm -hmm. Any match. It could just be one match. It could be multiple matches. Because like, we're just fucking around. Yeah. And there are plenty of things that we didn't bring up. Uh, all those sequels we haven't seen. If there's something in the Blair Witch sequels... Yeah, Book of Shadows. If, yeah. if she could, if she w maybe would have 
booted right away Mm -hmm. because of Book of Shadows, let us know. Yeah, I would love to read those comments, please. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's (laughs) it for this week and for March, I believe. I think so. Yeah, so next week we'll do a movie. And then after that, I'm not sure, but I know we're recording our trans representation episode like that other week, like soon. It'll be out next month, probably. Cool. Yeah. All right. Well, until all that, I'm James. Oh, wait. Uh, social media, Dead Meat James on oh, yeah. Twitter and Instagram. And I'm Carebeck, C-R-E-B-E-C-C on Twitter and Instagram. And if you want merch, com. And rate and review us on your podcast app of choice, especially Apple Podcasts. Yes. Until next time, I'm James. I'm Chelsea. And this has been the Dead Meat Podcast. Bye.